when I see the creations of Allah, it reminds me how great Allah is. You see the sky, the sky is up there without any pillars. And the sea, the ships can sail without any help, just with the wind, following the direction of the wind. The birds flies on its own, just with the wings. And the plants are all green, providing us oxygen. Everything is so uh, organized and Allah knows what is best for us. That's the beauty of Allah because He loves us so much. He provided everything that is required for us. If we were to look around and appreciate what we have received from Allah, we realize how lucky we are and how much Allah loves us. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nurhana. I reverted to Islam uh, and about 24 years ago. And how it happened was that um, I met a Muslim man and he told me that in Islam we believe in one God. And that surprised me because I have always believed that there is only one God, but I did not know where and how to pray to that God that I know is existing. Alhamdulillah, after getting to know this Muslim man, I prayed to myself, I, I asked myself, how do I learn about this religion? And with the will of God, I was, uh, I was proposed by this man and I accepted and we got married and from there I became to learn about Islam. Alhamdulillah, I became a Muslim and uh, I believe that my marriage was a way for Allah to bring me into Islam. And when I became a Muslim, I realized the beauty of Islam. I found out that Islam was a complete religion and a way of life. And uh, it really made me a better person. And I wanted to share Islam with all my friends and my family because I find that it is such a fantastic religion. I've always wanted to do charity work and I always wanted to make a difference to society. And uh, I started, when I started learning about, uh, when I started to read the Quran, I felt a magical effect. I decided that I wanted to be a better Muslim. I started wearing the hijab and I wanted to share Islam by inviting a lot of people into Islam. So I started an association to invite friends, Muslims and non-Muslims to learn about Islam. I started with a group of 20 and Alhamdulillah, today our class consists of about 100, uh, 100 viewers. Besides that, I felt that just holding classes was not good enough. I wanted to reach out. So I wanted to know how I can learn to reach out to the non-Muslims. So I attended a course and the course taught me the method I should use to reach out to Christians, to reach out to the Buddhists and all the other faiths. Today, in fact, after I attended the course, I prayed that I would make an effect and help just one person to become, to become a Muslim before I die. And with the will of God, I was approached by my friend to do dakwa work in Philippines. We went to Philippines and we, we actually gave a talk to the Christians in Philippines. And Alhamdulillah, I decided to set up a center in Philippines and we ha started adopting Philippine, Filipino children who wanted to become Muslims. We helped them in the education and uh, we also reached out to the Christians in Philippines. Before I left, inshallah, uh, alhamdulillah, we managed to invite about 60 Mus uh, Christians to come into Islam from the efforts of our group. We have actually also started a program to bring these Muslim children to come over to Malaysia to study about Islam and to become a da'i so that when they go back to the Philippines, they will be able to spread Islam in their own language, which will be more effective.
to the new Muslims, I would like to share the problems that I've encountered. And we all have the same problem that when we became Muslim, we had to leave our culture. We feel that is whatever we are doing is alien to what we have been doing. And this is very normal. And once we get used to it, we realize that covering up as uh, required by Islam is actually something that we would ourselves like to do, not because we want to do because of Islam. And we realize a lot of things that we are doing which is good for us. What I experience is actually the, the closeness of, of being with God is an effect to me, an effect that is worthwhile having to leave everything that I love. So the beauty is when you, are, when you feel close to God, that is when you feel everything is worthwhile living. Whatever you feel that you have to leave, it is actually, you realize that it is good for you. For example, if you, today, I wear a hijab and I realize it is good for me. It is not something that I want to do because I am forced to do. And a lot of things that I learned, we have to do as a Muslim. It's just like the other example is we are not supposed to eat pork. It is also another, another example that I feel that is very good because now scientifically proven that it is bad for us to consume pork. So I realized that whatever is taught in Islam is actually not only um, and impose on us because we are, we are Muslim but it is also good for us as a human being because Allah knows best. Allah is the one that, that created us and He knows what is good for us. And this is something that I would like to really share with all the new reverts that be patient with the problems that you're facing. Allah is always with us and He is always there to help us. Whatever problems we have, He is there. When, when we overcome the problems, we realize that He is there to test us and we feel that He loves us so much because he, we are the chosen one for Him to choose and bring us close to Him. This is the best gift that we can receive from Allah to become a Muslim. And for us to be able to go into Jannah, something that is chosen specially for us because not everyone will be given an opportunity. So I believe that as a new Muslim, we should share our privilege of becoming a Muslim with all your friends and family so that we can all be together in Jannah. And finally, as a new Muslim myself, as a revert myself, I would like to congratulate you. I know how you feel, having go through all the inconveniences that you have faced. You will realize that all the benefits will outweigh, all the benefits will outweigh whatever inconveniences you have faced. And rejoice and keep our self be in knowledge, learn about Islam, you will find that you learn about the beauty of Islam and you realize that how beautiful Islam is and we will keep you in prayer. Assalamu alaikum.